Hello everyone. Welcome back to Endless Learning. Today, we're diving into our 10th lesson in the Midjourney video series. If you're new here, it's a good idea to watch our first nine videos first. Now, we're going to learn about a few important commands. Let's get started. In this part, we'll learn how to provide references to Midjourney to visualize a scene based on those references. With this method, there's no need for lengthy descriptions. Simply specify your desired style, angle, and other preferences, and Midjourney will derive the rest from the image. Let's begin. Please take a look at this image. I aim to create another image that mirrors its style. In our previous lesson, we utilized the slash describe prompt to generate four distinct prompts based on this image. We then modified this command to create an image resembling this style. However, instead of proceeding in that manner, we now have the capability to directly upload the image and simply type in the command to achieve our desired outcome. Click the plus button to upload the image. Then press enter. Once the image is uploaded to the Midjourney server, type slash imagine, drag and drop the uploaded image and describe what you wish to create. Beautiful girl coming out from heaven. Let's await the output. Midjourney has begun creating an image based on your reference and following your prompt. Check the output Midjourney create an image inspiration of uploaded reference images. The reference image exudes an evil ambiance, so the heavenly feel doesn't align with them. Use the remix option to change heaven to evil. Therefore, I've adjusted the prompt from heaven to evil. And now the image successfully captures the intended mood. Midjourney has crafted an image inspired by your reference. It has successfully generated an image in the style you requested. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe to Endless Learning for more insightful tutorials like this one. Your support helps us create content that empowers your learning journey, and we're always looking to cover new topics that interest you. Have any questions or suggestions for our next video? Drop a comment below, we love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next lesson. Thank you for watching, and as always, keep pushing the boundaries of your knowledge. See you in the next video.